concrete cutting. Anyone could do it, right? <laughs> Wrong. It's serious work. You are using a specialized saw to remove concrete, which requires precision and deft of hand. That's why only trained professionals who have experience using this specialized equipment are responsible for concrete cutting at a construction site. As you can imagine, there are many dangers that are associated with this task. Whether you perform this service or have another role in the project, it is important for you to understand the risks that could unfold at the job site. What happens if the ground is wet? What happens if you are working from scaffolding or on a ladder? You could slip, trip, or fall while you or someone else is operating the machinery. If one of these hazards happened, there could be devastating effects, like lacerations, loss of limbs, or even death. You should always be aware of your surroundings. Stay alert. Stay vigilant. Most importantly, do not handle this equipment if you do not have the proper certifications or experience. Misuse of tools can result in injuries like cuts, lacerations, or pinch points. Cuts and lacerations occur when your body parts come into contact with a moving concrete saw blade or concrete core drill. Pinch points or kickbacks can cause even more harm to a person. This happens when a person is caught between two moving parts of a machine, or between the moving and stationary parts of a machine, or between material and any part of the machine. Other hazards that you should be concerned about when performing concrete cutting are structural damage, electrical shock, and exposure to concrete particles. Don't underestimate these perils. Be prepared. Structural damage can be a result of issues with steel, rebar, or post-tension cables that are within the concrete. Having a good understanding of the makeup of the concrete can forewarn you of some of these issues. Electrical wires or other conduits embedded within the concrete slab or wall can lead to an electrical shock. Performing concrete scanning before cutting into concrete can mitigate the risk of hitting one of these utilities. Lastly, you will be exposed to dust, silica, exhaust fumes, gases, and other objects or particles in the air. Make sure to wear a mask to avoid breathing in these harmful concrete particles. As you can see, concrete cutting is a dangerous activity. So be smart, be aware, be safe.